In this Kangaroo Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can use the Sphere Collide command uh, in, in Kangaroo 2 and also use the collision with solid to produce something like this. You can see these spheres uh, collide with this surface and are confined in it. I can increase the radius of these and also the number of those parts. So you can see that they only uh, are limited to this uh, solid so they don't get out. So basically this is a simple tutorial of how you can use uh, Kangaroo 2 for collision of particles. Okay, to get started from scratch, we have to go to the Kangaroo 2 uh, plugin tab. And what we want to use in this tutorial is going to be the bouncy solver because when using particles, we want to see the animation and how they move. So let's just use this bouncy solver uh, as the main part. Let me just put the bifocals plugin in. And as you can see, we have to give some goals in it. Uh, first of all, I want to just model a box. This is the base of those particles, and those particles are going to be inside this box. This is really easy. Uh, we can just right-click and set this to the box. Turn this off. And go to the Kangaroo plugin. And in the uh, vector grid section, you can see that we have a populate geometry. So you can actually do this populate geometry in any kind of uh, volume or BREF you want. So we just want to produce these uh, points in this box. Let's just increase the count to maybe 200. And remember you can also change the number of the seed if you want different results. So if you just give this a new a number slider, you can see that it's going to change the location of those points. Okay, I'm going to just delete this one. And we are okay with this uh, random points on the popular geometry. And first of all, we have to go to the kangaroo and use this show command in the main section. Uh, that means that we need those particles. We want to see those particles. We can just connect this show to the geometry and give it to the goals. So one of the goals is to see those points. You can simply give a point to the output of here. You can see uh, the output is the goal function outputs, which is the geometry we need, which are the points. So I'm going to give that to the output. And we can just turn off everything to see just the points here. And the next part is to give a uh, kind of force to these points. I'm going to go to the Kangaroo 2 tab and in the goals point we need this load here, okay? So let's just give this a load and say these points. The force vector is going to be the Z minus direction, so I'm going to give this a Z, unit Z, and just a, like a minus one, we can give that to here, okay? Uh, the weighting is okay. We use the shift key to add this to the goal objects. You can see if I connect a button, we can simply just type B U T and connect a button to the reset and click on this. We can see that these points are going down. That's the first part. Okay. Uh, you can see how easy it is in Kangaroo to, to, to define a floor. For example, if I go to the points, you can just say we need a floor for it. So can collide. Let's just put this floor and use this shift key to add it to this. So you can see it's just uh, colliding with the floor. That's really easy. Remember the floor is what we can also add. But now, first of all, before we do this, I'm going to go to the goals collision and select this sphere collide. That will just convert all of those po uh, population points or random points into spheres. And let's just decrease the number of this so it's going to be faster. And I'm going to give this to the points, which means they are, these are spheres. Uh, the radius is really important because we want to see the results. I'm going to use the mesh uh, primitive sphere, mesh sphere here, to just draw this really fast. So if I just give it here and give it maybe 1.25 for the radius. So you can see that I can define these sphere uh, radius by this number. Just give that to the here. And because we have to see the results after the uh, solver, we're going to give that to the output here. Remember, you have to also add this sphere collide with the shift key to the goal object. So let's just put this here. And you can see that it's going to show you. If I again add the floor, I'm going to just go and add the floor here and use the shift key here 
and reset the results, you can see that we can have these spheres collide. This is really cool and easy to model. And because we want to see them in colors, I'm going to go to the uh, display, custom preview, and give this to the spheres and see them in colors. So that's how we can make them. Uh, the next part is to put them in a box, which we want to confine it. Uh, I'm going to just simply define a box here and use the shell command. You can see that I'm typing the shell command here and defining a thickness. We want to delete the space and give something like this. Okay, I'm going to explain the problem when we add that to the kangaroo 2. Uh, now to the collision, we have this solid point collide. We have to add this one here, okay. So again, the points which we want to collide is the populate geometry. The solid we want to collide is to be a BREP. Uh, remember the input is a mesh, so I'm going to go to uh, BREP and connect this solid and connect it to the solid and the default is false uh, it means that the points are going to be outside of the solid remember if it's the false uh, with the shift key I'm also adding this to the goal objects that's it let's just run this so you can see because we have the floor we have to get rid of that I'm going to delete that and reset this again okay the problem with this is that it's going to uh, move outside the box as you can see when I reset that and you can just fix this by moving the bottom down so it's a really big solid so those spheres don't move outside I'm going to use the control shift and select this face and move it down like this and now just run this command you can see it's completely okay because these spheres are on the surface of this uh, we can simply just move them up with the radius. So I'm going to just move them before we convert them into spheres in the Z direction. Basically, we have to move them uh, the radius. So I'm going to move that as the radius and then give it to the base of the mesh. So this is going to help us to put them uh, on the surface. Now let's just turn everything off and just run this that's it and you can also increase or decrease the number of the radius so let's just decrease that increase the number of this you can see when I increase it it's going to also produce those points from the top but if I run it you can see these are the points that are coming inside this. Some of them are going to jump out, that is because of the, of the radius, if you just decrease that and also move that box, let's just see that box by turning on and moving that a little bit up and running this again, you can see that it's going to jump off down. So we can just decrease or increase the radius and see the results. Okay, uh, you can also so I'm going to select this surface and move it a little bit up. Uh, maybe even scale it with the shift key. So it's like that. Okay. Run this command. So you can see how easy it is to uh, model a collision. Let's increase the radius. And that's the tutorial of how you can use the sphere collide to put it inside a solid. So remember, you can also, uh, let's just also use the control shift for this surface. So rotate this a little bit like this one. And you can see that's going to go down like this. So that's really easy. Uh, what you have to do is to do. So first of all, you have to define the particles. This is the part that we define the particles. Uh, the second part is to give them some load, so they are going to go down in gravity. The second part, so the third part is to define a sphere collide because that's going to give some volume to those points uh, and put some forces inside them. And the last part is to define a solid point collide, which will collide with a solid. Or if you just want to define a floor, you can simply go to the goals point and select a floor to define that. 
And remember to put that uh, solid a little bit big so that those points will not go through that and that will be okay. Okay, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel because we have uh, weekly tutorials. And remember to like this video so YouTube shows you more. And see you next time.